timer, so make sure I don't go on for too long. 45 minutes. Estaba poniendo tiempo de reloj, tenemos 45 minutos. Because once I get going, I just have so much fun, I just keep talking and playing, and then it's two hours later, and oops! Dice que se ha pasado muy bien y que el tiempo pasa muy rápido. It's a great day to have a base day because today is Jaco Pastorius' 61st birthday. Dice que es muy bueno tener un base day en el día que se cumple el 61 aniversario, pero he hecho de Jaco Pastorius. Hoy es su cumpleaños. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jaco. Happy birthday to you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
very interactive and real, so that if there are any questions at any time, Sí, sí, sí. Put your hand up and see this. Es que tiene que alguien hacer muy interactivo y que aceptaremos preguntas. Si alguien quiere hacer alguna pregunta en algún momento, levanta la mano simplemente y vamos adelante. ¿Alguna pregunta? No questions. Don't be shy. Okay. You know, um, for me, like many fretless players, Jaco Pastores was what started it off. Para él, igual que para muchos eh, bajistas que tocan fretes, que tocan sin trastes, ya como Pastorius empezó con todo. Three that to me make up Jaco Pastorius. Hay tres cosas que tienes que saber de Jaco Pastorius. His groove. Because no matter how much he was soloing, you could always feel the groove. Su groove. Incluso cuando estaba haciendo solos, él siempre mantenía el groove. His creativity, of course. Su creatividad, por supuesto. And the power with which he played, very aggressive player, especially as he's in the jazz genre, very powerful. Okay. La manera, la, man la manera poderosa, la manera potente que tenía que tocar, incluso cuando estaba tocando jazz, siempre ha sido muy poderoso. But as soon as I tried to play in Jaco Pastores, I was like, oops, I can't do that. Cuando en pronto como intentó tocar como Jaco Pastorius, pensó, uh, no, puedo, no voy a poder tocar eso. And I was actually glad because I took from Jaco Pastorius what inspired me, and then I made it my own. Sí, pero estaba contento porque cogió de Jaco Pastorius la inspiración y pudo ser el mismo, sonar como el mismo. I'm sure that many of you have gained lots of inspiration from the, from the base day. Okay. Eh, está seguro que muchos de vosotros habéis tocado, habéis tomado inspiración de su manera de tocar el bajo. And it's very important to make what you take from bass day and turn it into what is uniquely you. Dice que es muy importante que lo que de lo que tomáis sea vuestra propia manera de expresarlo y lo que se haga sonar como vosotros mismos. One of my favorite bass players, Lee Sklar, Leland Sklar with the big beard. One of my favorite bass players and a good friend is Leland Sklar. Yeah. <laughs> uno, de su, uno de sus bajistas favoritos yeah, es el... ¿Cómo se llama? Leland Sklar. Okay, thank you. I'm a guitar player, sorry. <laughs> and now, Lee has limited use of these two fingers in his left hand. Okay, él dice que usa estos dos dedos de su mano derecha. Left or uh, left, sorry. In left hand, so that's his fingering hand. But he's used that. If you listen to a lot of his recordings, he slides a lot. And it turns into this very slinky kind of sound. Okay. Dice que utiliza mucho sus dedos, pero que los desliza mucho. Ahí, que consigue el sonido de So he turns something that might have been a disadvantage to bass players into something that was very cool. Okay. Um, to, to many bass players, that would have been a problem. Okay, para muchos los bajistas esto sería un problema. But he turned it into something cool. He worked with. Pero esto lo convierte en algo cool, en algo interesante. So just because you cannot do something that some other bass player can do, it's okay. Just be yourself. Okay. Incluso cuando hagáis algo que otros no pueden hacer o al revés, que seáis vosotros mismos. Okay, I'm going to do some more playing. Too much talking. Thank you, man. Say thank you.
I just met this young gentleman about two minutes before we came on stage. Dice que se han conocido dos minutos antes de que subiera al escenario, así que un aplauso para él, por favor. I'm going to say a few things about the gear I'm playing through, in case any of you are interested. Some of you may have check, uh, checked out the uh, new Fender Pro series, the Super Basement. It's the 300 watt all tube monster. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like that. You want to say anything? <laughs> Mr. Fender? Yeah. Que si estás interesado puedes decir una serie de cosas sobre el equipo que está hoy en el Son los nuevos antes de la serie Pro. No sabes si habéis tenido oportunidad de probarlos en la exposición. Go ahead. As you can tell, I like to use a lot of overdrive and a lot of dirt and, and everything. But you know, um, you have to be as a bass player. Okay, there's two types of. There's quite a few types of bass players. Okay. <laughs> okay, and there's a few types of bass players. Hay varios tipos de de bajista. There are those that are playing for themselves. Están los que tocan en casa mismo. And are those that are playing for others. Y los que para otros. Now, at the end of the day, we're all playing for ourselves. Al final del día, para but the ones that play for others are usually the ones that are working and are busy. Sí, pero que los que tocan para otros son los que están trabajando y están ocupados. I'll get back to the end, I promise. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> now. I love doing all this crazy, wild stuff, and I'm listening to uh, to bass there, and there's a lot of crazy, wild stuff happening today. A lot of crazy playing. I think it que le gusta mucho el crazy playing, el crazy wild stuff, quiero decir, la manera de tocar salvaje. And it's cool, but you know, Está bien. the to be a working, busy bass player. Pero si quieres ser un bajista que trabaja, está inactivo. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> To be a working, busy bass player, usually it involves playing very simply. Para ser un bajista que trabaje y que está ocupado, hay que ser muy simple. And I want to give a classic example of that because one of my favorite bass players is the late great James Jameson. Creo que va a poner un ejemplo muy clásico de esto porque uno de sus grandes favoritos, bajistas favoritos, es el gran James Jameson. And one of my favorite bass lines of his is from a Temptation song called Papa is a Rolling Stone. Dice que una de sus líneas de bajo favoritas está contenida en una canción de los Temptations que se llama Papa was a Rolling Stone. Now, there is one riff in that song. Hay un riff en esa canción. The song lasts for six minutes. Y la canción dura seis minutos, solo un riff. And there are three notes in the riff. So I That's good. I think it's good. I'm going to play, play the riff. Do you like that best, or do you like 
this piece. Okay, girls, which one? First or the second? First. <laughs> And one thing that I saw happen was that, especially the girls in the first one were starting to do this. Because when you play those kind of grooves that are deep and simple, people really feel that. Porque cuando es un groove simple, tan simple, básico, la gente realmente lo siente. I don't know about you guys, but I. It's kind of cool when the girls are... <laughs> <laughs> it's inspiring to me when the girls are doing that, and it's fun, you know, and... Uh, I mean, hey, guys, I love playing for you too. <laughs> it's <laughs> like both of you. Any questions? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of girls in the the thing I was going to say at the end. Yes, I think we need to talk about the end. Yeah, we can talk about the end. Uh, no problem. Um, it's very powerful. It will do a lot of uh, distortion and, and heavy stuff. Um, but it, it's very versatile too. It's very potent. It's very potent. It's very potent. It's very potent. As you heard, it's got an overdrive channel, so you can do a lot of real kind of, of the new metal kind of stuff, heavy.